Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Salesforce and this is Rohit and today I'm going to show you new flow features of summer 23 release with the example. So if you are new in this channel, so please subscribe the channel and watch this video until end and please turn on the bell icon for more updates. So you never be miss any kind of updates from my side. So let's get started without any further delay. So before that you have to create your pre-release or summer 23. So how to do that? Let me show you here first of all. So let me move into my browser. So here you can see my browser, right? So just you have to enter this URL and you will be get this form and you have to fill your information and click on this start free trial and you will be get an email in your particular email ID and just you have to verify your account and just you have to log in into that. So once you logged in, now you can see this type of in, uh, interface here in this, you know, like org. So I will show you the most of the features regarding the flow. So let me move into my slide and let's see the first feature inside this flow. First feature is choice lookup component is generally available or we can say that Salesforce introduced the choice lookup component as a beta features in the spring 23 release or if you don't know about it, you can watch my uh, release videos in my playlist and this input component lets you display choice in a lookup format in summer 23 release choice lookup component become generally available so you can see the screenshot here i will show you the practical part as well so let's move into the org and let's see you can see my org just if you want to create any flow just you can create with the help of this create button and flow this is the new one right or just you can find out the flow inside quick find like flow so you can see the flow so just click on this flow here and you can see new flow so just you have to click on this new button and it's open me a new tab in the browser and you have to create a new flow so this is the different types of templates regarding this flow so just you can select any template as you want based on your requirement for here and for this example let me select this screen flow and just let me click on this create button and now immediately you can see the canvas here this is the flow canvas flow builder canvas right so how to use the the first feature choice lookup component is generally available how to implement it so we can implement it here just you have to click in this plus icon click on this screen component let's say this is the screen one let me enter this label and api name automatic appear here right and just you have to do one thing under the search component you have to search here like the lookup so choice lookup is generally available previously it was in beta but you can drag and drop anywhere as you want in this screen. So once you've done it, just you have to give this name here. Let's say choice lookup for example purpose, right? You can give any name as you want, but for now I'm using this choice lookup here and it's asking like placeholder or choices. This is a required field. You can see the red mark here. So just create a new resource. So choices and API name you can give let's say test one API name without any space test one and the label is test one and data type is text just click on this done button and create another choice here with the help of new resource choice and test two like this and then test two click on this done button click again this one create a new resource choice resource select this choice and let's say test 3 and give the label test 3 here click on this done button let me add more more on value in this one just click on this new resource choices test 4 and here test 4 click on this done button again I can add another value here choice test 5 and here test 5 click on this done button now we have five types of value inside this choice lookup just click on this done button and now immediately you can see our flow is ready just click on this save button first of all and let me enter the flow name like choice choice lookup demo and click on this save button immediately you can see our flow is saved now how to test it just click on this run button and it's open me a new window in in my browser 
and immediately you will be see this output inside this browser window so now you can see that this is a lookup here you can see just click on this one immediately you can see my choice is here test 1 test 2 test 3 test 4 and test 5 i already created these values right so here in this choice lookup you can search here any name as you want regarding these values so just i want to search like let's say test 5 so immediately you can see the test 5 come here right and you can work accordingly let me search another one here let's say test 3 so immediately test 3 is coming here right so this is the first feature inside this summer 23 release or regarding this flow so let me move into my slide and let's see the second features this is the second feature add a search bar to data table so you can add the search bar to the data table component in order to add a search bar just mark the show search bar option in the data table so this is the new option this one so search bar so you have to check this checkbox and you will be see search bar inside our data table so let's move into my org and let's see with the practice. so just under the flow you have to create a new flow and select the screen flow add here let's say get element because i need some data so get records let's say get accounts account data for example select the example object here let's say account i don't have any condition so none it all records click on this done so now our get element is ready just click on this plus icon and add the screen here let's say account data screen right under this screen you have to search here like data table if you don't know about this data table you can watch my video in my releases videos and you will be get to know about it so just drag and drop this table here and give the api name let's say account data and source collection is i already created get record that's why you can see this one just select it and this is the new feature so search bar so you have to select it immediately you can see in the top so let me unselect it immediate you cannot see any search bar here so if you need some search bar inside your data table just check this checkbox and immediately you can see here and let me configure the you know like columns rows and columns based on our requirement you can set it here let's say id account id and click on this done button add column let's say name here account name just select it and click on this done and let me add another column here let's say rating click on this done and just click on this done again and let me save this and let's say data table example so just click on the save button here once you save it just you have to run your flow to test it so once you run it immediately you can see my data like showing 13 of 13 items here right and this is the search bar so just focus on this one this is the newly one right under the summer summer 23 right so you can see this new feature so if you need to search any record inside this data table just you have to enter your uh, keywords inside this one so how to search it let's say i want to search this jenny point so just copy it and here i want to search it this one and hit the enter key immediately you can see our data is filtered now with the search keywords right you can search another one let's say i want to search like is communication so just click is immediately you can see the is so this is the new feature very useful and very handy right so you can try in your org based on your requirement you can implement in your project as well so this is the second feature let's move next feature so next feature is related to the http callout support the post matter previously configured this http callout only the get method but right now it's uh, support the post method so post this http callout is an amazing feature that sales were introduced in the spring 23 release using this http callout beta button from the action element you can make callouts to the external web services 
However, it was a beta feature and it supported GET method only. In the summer 23 release, HTTP Colab become generally available and it support POST method as well. So here you can see in the screenshot, you can make it like GET and POST. So GET is generally available, but POST is right now in beta. So you can check out this one as well. So this is the another feature here. Okay. So you can see this kind of you know configuration i already created one video regarding this get so based on that get method you can change into the post and you can add your api for posting the data so based on the re request and response you can use it right so this is the another feature here so let's move the next feature so next feature is reactive screen component support the formula so salesforce introduced this reactive screen components beta program in the spring 23 release or with Reactive screen component, you can configure your screen component so that they can react to the user action on the same screen. Although it is a great feature, they did not support some of the fields type including formula. In the summer 23 release, reactive screen component supported formula as well. For example, here in this screen, we have two types of fields. One is start date and end date. Data type should be date. So you can create a formula that returns the difference between the dates and make it a default value of a number field on the same screen. So I already created here two date fields. One is start date and second one is end date. And once you changes any date, so immediately my formula is calculate the number of days between these days uh, dates. So end date minus start date. So this is the formula. So you can calculate the days between the start date and end date. So let's move into our org and let's see the practical part of this reactive screen component supports formulas. So here, just let me click on this new button here. And once you clicked on this new, just click on this screen. Add the screen here. Let's say it's screen one or you can enter like some are 23 like that right and under here let me search like date date uh, data type here like date so it's start date right but in your org you will not get this feature why because i already configure some of the you know configuration inside our org so without this configure you cannot calculate as a reactive this component so you have to enable these features inside our org so you have to search here let me make it duplicate here and here just you have to select, uh, search like process automation process automation so under the process automation setting you have to enable this setting first and then you can create your reactive screen component that is called reactive screen beta so you have to enable it so you will be see this uh, screen as a reactive screen under this screen flow right so start date and let me add another field here let's say and date right so once you added these two fields let me add another field types of number so just drag and drop it, this one and date diff so here and default value you have to select it as a new resource let me create a formula here so formula is date diff right and under data type you have to select the number and decimal zero and under this formula uh, i i want to add my you know like end date minus start date if you want to calculate the day, uh, days between the two days right so here just start date here so check the formula first now you can see the valid formula just click on this done save it done it and again you have to click on this save and here it's green reactive demo like that just click on the save button so once you saved it just click on this run button and once you clicked on this run immediately you will be see my output here right so you have to select let's say today date here for example and end date let's say 30 so immediately you can see the calculation like nine days so between the difference between end date and start date, you can select nine days. You can change here, let's say uh, future date, let's say five, five my, so you can select 14 days or you can change this date as well. Let's say this one. So you can calculate the days between two dates, right? 
so this is the reactive screen and you can see the output immediately here so this is the very useful feature inside this summer 23 release and flows right so i hope you you can try this feature hopefully okay so let's move into our next feature so next feature is change on the user interfaces so there are some changes on the user interfaces of the flow builder first of all elements colors change a little bit now they higher contrast so you can observe this is spring 23 in the left side these icons but in the right side you can see like summer 23 so immediately you can observe or you you can find out some high contrast between the icons right so this is another feature you can check out this feature in your org as well right so now let's move the new feature that is second changes is related to the auto layout in the order to add a new element you have to mouse over the circle and click the plus icon so let me show you this one so previously we can see only the plus icon but now you can see the circle icon right once you mouse over this circle icon immediately you can see the plus icon here as well so how to show that let me show you here so in my screen component now you can see this circle so circle means you can uh, check this and you can add the element inside this one once you mouse over immediately it's automatic change into plus means you can add the element in between the screens right once you mouse out now you can see the circle again you can mouse over and plus right so this is another feature inside this release right so let's move into the new feature so next feature is send email core action is improved so once of this is the one of the ways to send an email using flow is the send email core action although it is the main way to sending emails it was missing many options starting with the summer 23 release send email action can be used the template let's say lightning email templates are supported as well moreover it can log the email on the specified record activities timelines so how to show that let me show you here under here just click on this plus icon and just select the action under the action we have like emails just select this one click on this send emails and immediately you can see the two options here this one these two options first the email template id and log email on the send so this is the uh, this is supported by email lightning email template so if you have if you already have in email template in your org just you can use it here and just pass the email template id here and once you send the email so it's the automatic track that email id or you know like emails and log into the log email to on the send in the activity bar so you can see this kind of things right so this is the new feature inside this summer 23 release for the flow so let's move the next feature so nature is like migrate to flow tool supported schedule action of the process builder so starting with the summer 23 release migrate to flow tool support migrating schedule action inside of the process builder to schedule the part inside of the flow however it will migrate the schedule action as long as only one rows of the criteria is selected if the user selects multiple rows only the immediate path will be migrated and the user get a warning message so in my screenshot you can see one column that is called scheduled action and now you can see the check one if you migrate any pb into the process into the flow so you can check this uh, screen here right so immediately you can see this is schedule action so it's, uh, it's an automatic checked here once you migrate this process builder to flow so you will be see this kind of upgradation here right so this is the another feature here so now let's move the next feature so this is the last feature in my diaries so process builder creation is disabled so this is the end of the an era starting with the summer 23 release you cannot create a new process builder anymore however existing process can be edited activated and deactivated and have new version created therefore admin can still manage all the existing automation so please note a here developer edition org will not be impacted from these changes please keep in your mind so in my screenshot you cannot see any kind of new button to create any process builder so let's see and let's move into the org and let's see the this part here so just you have to select the process builder here and once you select this process builder option here 
you cannot see any kind of you know like new button inside this screen so if you cannot see any kind of new button so you cannot create any process builder that's why so it's automatic disabled here so you cannot create any pb in this summer 23 release so you can migrate your existing pb into the flow so this is all about the new feature regarding the you know the flows in summer 23 release so guys i hope you learn something new definitely because it's a new feature so if you feel like this is a very informative for us so please like the videos and please subscribe the channel share comments and please turn on the bell icon for more updates so you never be miss any kind of update from my side so till then bye bye take care see ya thank you for watching guys